Border Town, my birthplace. The safest rest stop for the dubious intentions and the miserable legacy of the Pong family. My great-great-granduncle Milmore was the first American Pong. He came from Guangzhou, China, and in 1861, he worked a little-known railroad. <laughs> On February 20th, 1942, the morning after President Roosevelt issued the order to intern Japanese Americans, Milmore's son, Francisco, was mistaken for the enemy and shipped to an internment camp where he contracted pneumonia and died. Saul and entrepreneur Nolan Bushnell were inseparable in college. They conceived Pong, one of the first video games in 1972. Bushnell and Saul had a mysterious falling out. My father never told me what happened, but for many years in his home office, Saul kept a framed candidate of himself and Bushnell's first wife. I never felt safe within Border Town's confines. In my early teens, I recall thinking, when I grow up, I will not be here. There he is, my only son, Sullivan Pong and the new president of the Pong Foundation, the leader of the Old Town Redevelopment Project. A press conference? I'm waiting when you go back to your old barren white wife and pay your high socialist taxes, I'll still be here, serving my citizens. He's treating the citizens of Border Town like he treats your mother, like he treats you. The Border Town people will learn every last truth about you. I'm sorry, Sylvia, for what's about to happen. I was not supposed to become Saul Paul. I was supposed to be the better man. Wouldn't you like to make him pay?